Judson Mill District in Greenville has announced their remaining two historic buildings will be transformed into apartments with nearly 200 units. Our Taylor Farmer has the details on the project. A new project is underway here at Judson Mill when developers say will cost more than $60 million. It's a project developers are calling a historic revitalization. The century old mill was once the largest mill in Greenville. Developers tell us for five years now, work has been done to transform the mill into something the community can now enjoy. I do think it's a really good idea. You get to preserve the buildings. Like it's a beautiful building. The structure is huge and I mean, why not like bring people out into the community together? We're told nearly 800,000 square feet has already been developed at Judson Mill. The space includes retail, dining, entertainment, and residential space. Developers say it's been an investment of more than $100 million. When you go inside and you kind of see how much work they put into the detail. I, I could see a price tag like that. <laughs> According to the Judson Mill Group, $60 million is expected to be spent on revitalizing more of the property. They tell us the newest project will focus on the reconstruction of around 170,000 square feet. The new project includes the transformation of two historic buildings, the Jenny and Westervelt, which will add 181 loft apartments. Ken Ryder, co-developer of Judson Mill District, says, quote, our goal is to preserve the legacy of these historic structures while fostering a modern, vibrant community where residents can thrive and connect. According to Judson Mill's leasing website, prices for the apartments currently for rent range from as low as $1525 for a one-bedroom and as high as $2780 for a three-bed, two-bath. While some upstate natives say living outside of Greenville is more affordable for them, they say they still like to enjoy what Greenville and the historic mills have to offer. So there's something for everybody. We walked past a gym in there for rock climbing, and I just walked past the, uh, the feed and seed. Cute little local spot that had some local vegetables and stuff, so that was really cool. Developers say that construction will be completed in 2025. In Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. One of many changes coming to Greenville, Judson Mill District says the two buildings they're working on now to revitalize were once used to convert cotton into thread and played a key role in yarn production.